Hey class, Absolute 5 here, and today we're going to talk about the introduction to polynomials. So the first question is, well, what is a polynomial? So let us, oh, I can't write polynomial today. <laughs> okay. Anyway, what is a polynomial? So the definition is a polynomial, right, in X is a finite sum of terms of the form A to the N comma, where A is a real, whoops, is a real number, and N is a whole number. So for example, polynomial looks something like this. X to the fifth minus 3x to the third plus 2x squared minus 5x plus 1, something like that. It, that's what a polynomial looks like because there are a bunch of terms there and they're aligned in a specific order of inc of decreasing values, of uh, not decreasing values, I mean decreasing exponents. You can see it's x to the fifth, the next one x to the third, then to the second, and so forth and so on. So there are three types of polynomials, well, they have specific types, three types. What are the three types? Three types of polynomials. The first one is mono, monomial, which obviously means one, which is like one term. Binomial means two terms. And trinomial, whoop, means three terms. So I'm gonna give an example of each one real quick. So we'll say this is the first one, this is the second one, and this is the third one. Okay, the first example could be 2x squared, this one's gonna be 3x squared plus 3y squared, and this is x squared plus 4xy plus y squared, okay? So in general, this is, these are just basic examples of what a polynomial looks like. And as I was saying before, remember that there's a number on top for the exponent. This is generally in the world of polynomials is referred to as a degree. Now, what is a degree now? What's the next question? What is a degree? which leads us to the degree of a polynomial, whoop, of a polynomial. What does that mean? The degree of a polynomial is the greatest degree of any term of the polynomial. Okay. So for example, if I gave you negative 15 x to the third plus two x squared minus five, the degree for this would be what? Three, because three is the biggest one out of all the example. How about if I gave a whole bunch of different ones? Let's say I gave negative 2t squared plus 3t plus 6. This is the first example, the second example, this is the third example. Whoopsie, sorry. I didn't mean to write in the sky because it's going crooked. And 
this one 7x plus 3x to the third minus, no, plus 2x squared minus 1. Okay, so for the first one, a, the first one, the degree of that would be 2 because it's 2t squared, t to, t to the second, I should say. This one, the degree is equal to 1, sorry, the arrow is supposed to be pointed here because there's an invisible 1 for the variable. And the highest term here will be the degree will be 3 because the 3 exponent is there. So initially you're just identifying basically what a polynomial is, what the degree is, if it's a monomial, binomial, trinomial. Polynomial means more than four terms. That's why when we say poly, it means more than four terms. And let's see. What's interesting about polynomials, you can also combine them. We'll just do some basic examples real quick. So with, you can only combine polynomials, or in this case a binomial, since there's two terms, if they have the same powers. And so here we have negative 3x plus 7x would be what? 4x, because remember, they're just like numbers. So you have to keep the sign of the bigger number, which is the 7, so that's why it's positive. And then you subtract the number, 7 minus 3 is 4. So there's that as the answer for that one. Let's try one more, and I'll give you one for homework. Let's try this one. Let's say 11x squared plus 5 plus 2x squared minus 7. And let's see, we have that ready. So this one here, now, the best step I would recommend doing is to reorder it because it's commutative. You're allowed to rewrite things in any order you like it to be. So for example, I like to highlight or underline the same term. So 11x squared, and then I like to put them together. So you can either add them already, or if you're not, you can just reorder it to be 11x squared plus 2x squared. This could be plus five minus seven, or if you want, you could have also done it this way, minus seven plus five. You could have done either of those two would have been the same thing, because in the end, you get the same answer of 13x squared, because 11x squared plus two x squared is 13x squared, minus two as your final answer. So for homework, I want you to tell me what the answer of nine x to the third plus x, whoop, plus x to the third is as your as your as your answer. Leave your leave your answers and questions down in the comment section below. So that's the video for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Mash the bell button, guys, so you, for more content. And I'll see you guys next time with another video. This has been Absolute 5. I'm Roger Palomino. Math is infinite because there are infinitely many possibilities. And don't forget, don't hate, calculate.